If you're a tourist on vacation, there isn't a more colorful spot in the West Indies than Haiti. You'll fall in love with Port-au-Prince. You'll shop at its famous markets. Or you can buy anything from a pair of lizard shoes to a live goat. And you'll sail into the very harbor that Columbus first sailed into on the Santa Maria. But if you've got sunken treasure fever like I have, you'll spend most of your time in Haiti underwater. The Santam wasn't much of a boat, but she was all mine. Mine? I was over my head in seawater and debts. But we managed to keep her afloat. We meaning me and that best one-man crew on the island. T. Flute and I were bound to strike it rich. That is, if I didn't get involved again with a character like Carl Dexter. Baffles me how a guy who looked like Dexter could have a daughter who looked like his did. She was a New York model who flew down to see what dear old dad was up to. Like the rest of us treasure hunters, he was also chasing the golden mistress. But he was doing it the hard way when he sneaked into the most secret of voodoo ceremonies. The dance of the blazing idol.
They only bring this thing out once every five years, but I got it. I'm scared, Anne. Scared stiff. What are you talking about? It's a voodoo idol. It'll make us rich. But I had to pretend to be one of them to get it. That Hungan. Hungan? Voodoo high priest. Kept staring at me. I'll see his face on my deathbed. He knew I didn't belong there. He made me go through the fire ritual. If I hadn't, he might have killed me. And those people put their bare hands on this thing while it was blazing hot and it didn't leave a mark. I did it and... They're tricks to every trade. Look at this. Why, these are real diamonds and rubies. And the skeleton is solid gold. It must be very valuable. How much would you think a thousand of those gadgets would be worth? A thousand? Or more. Probably a lot more. A fortune. Now listen, I need a boat and a man who can dive. There's a fellow named Buchanan, Bill Buchanan. Been diving for treasure around here for years. And he owns his own boat. I want you to go down to the wharf and make a deal with him. Tell him that Carl Dexter has the key to the treasure of the untamed and can prove it. Yes? Oh. Which is Captain Buchanan's boat? Buchanan. Oh, he going to Davis Bay this morning. Oh, I wanted to see him. To Davis Bay, you know. Uh, Madame, uh, Monsieur Dupuis goes to Davis Bay, but you must hurry. Monsieur Dupuis! Monsieur Dupuis! Madame! Would you take me to Devil's Bay? A pleasure, Madame. Would you come aboard? Buchanan. Buchanan on the bottom of ocean. I want to see him right away. You go tell him. How long will he be down there? He come up soon. His eye is almost gone. I'm going to tell you, Dupuy. Stay off my boat. I promised to make a payment last week. I can't wait any longer. If you want to talk business to me, find me on shore. Out here, I'm busy. I can't wait any longer, Buchanan. Get off my boat. Your boat. <laughs> I told you. Well, I got money today. I'll find your boat tomorrow. Get off. You better come to me, Mr. This man's a wild animal. I'll take my chances, Mr. Dupuy. I'll hold the boat for you. Captain Buchanan. Bonjour to you. You're a new kind of bill collector. You don't understand, Captain. I'm not trying to get money out of you. I'm bringing you business. What kind of business? I want to charter your boat. Does this look like a charter boat? Try the wharf. You got me all wrong. I want you and the boat. I have a job for you. Lady, I'm not a passenger vessel, and I'm not a fishing boat, and I don't escort tourist sightseeing parties. But this has to do with treasure. Treasure? What treasure? The treasure of the untamed. The untamed? Why, that old wise tale's been circulating around Haiti ever since the revolution. <laughs> the untamed. But he said he had proof. He? Who's he? Carl Dexter. Is that thief robbing girls now? Stay away from Dexter. He's crooked and he's sharp. He's even taken me for money, and more than once. It's a good thing he didn't know you were coming to me or he'd have stopped you. As a matter of fact, he sent me here. He wouldn't dare. Oh, but he did. You see, I'm his daughter. Why, if it wasn't for Dexter, I wouldn't be troubled by all these wolves. And now he uses a pretty face to try and sucker me again. And with the untamed of all things. Either he's getting feeble-minded or he thinks I'm a complete idiot. Well, he isn't getting feeble-minded. Now, may I have your answer? Sure. Hey, put me down. Anything you say. 
<laughs> My regards to your father. I'll have you arrested. I'll have you thrown in jail. Honey, we've got to have that boat. Then you get it. He thinks very highly of you. Oh, by the way, he isn't at the waterfront. Devil's Bay? Uh-uh, jail. Jail? Uh-huh, I had him put there for assault. He'll be there, and he'll have to listen. Une visite pour le capitaine. Nous well, well, Miss Dexter, as I live and breathe, what are you doing here? Social work or just slumming? Was my father here last night? No. Nope. Not to see me, at least. But he left for here last night. And I haven't seen him since. Say, maybe he's with one of those friends of his. Friends? The Untamed. <laughs> You're very funny. Sorry to have bothered you. Hey, wait a second. What is this, the honor system? They made me a trustee. You must come here quite often to inspire such confidence. Look, don't worry about your father. He probably saw somebody or heard something. He thought he could turn into a few bucks. He'll show up. <laughs> you can't get rid of a Dexter that easy. That's very reassuring. Thanks. Uh, how about dropping charges so I can get out of here? Why? This seems like a second home to you. But if I don't do something fast, they'll tie up my boat. From what I understand, it's already tied up. Have a nice lunch. Mamsel Desta, Mamsel Desta, Mamsel Desta. Hovu. Have you seen my father? We will, a papa, some more.
No, no, I don't get that. He won't be in a second. You again. Look, lady, I've had enough of this. Jock! Throw this witch out of here. Wait, I've got something to show you. It's all right, Jock. Where did you get this? From my father. He said you'd be interested. I'm interested, all right. But if your father's playing one of his funny little tricks, I'll... Where is he? He wants us to pick him up off the bluffs at San Mark. Could be done if... If what? If I had a boat. Oh, I forgot. Well, if you want to go through with this deal, you'll have to help me steal my own boat. Can we do it? Cinch. All right. Meet me on the dock in an hour. Bring enough clothes for a couple of days. Jacques! What now? Slight formality. I've got to be released. You got no more of the ship, the proprietor. It's all right, Toulouse. I have permission to take her out. But I don't have permission to let you. Mr. Dupree, he is very positive about it. Show him the letter you got from Dupuy. Uh huh. You know the order of release you got from him. Tonight. I'm sad, so I cry, but I can't read. Take a look. Translate it for him. Papier, ça va, Captain Nan reprend bateau. Si un lui dit pourri. This make me happy. She's good ship. And you are a good man too, Captain. You belong with each other. And I, I belong with my Josephine. She's softer at night than your deck. N'est-ce pas? I think I see my priest when I get home. <laughs> That's a tea flute. Keep her at 315 and don't let her drift. We will not laugh. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing down there? I just thought I'd hang on and take a bath. Well, get up out of there. Why, am I slowing the boat? Take a look. I never heard of sharks so close to land before. They've been known to take a leg off right near the beaches. No self-respecting shark would pass up legs like those. That's San Mark just ahead. I'm anxious to see my father. I'm worried about him. You should be. He must have stolen that skeleton from a voodoo shrine. I'm not superstitious, but I've seen voodoo vengeance work.
You don't want to see the rest. The shark wasn't even interested in me. Have some breakfast? No. Oh, come on. Going hungry is no solution to anything. Well, maybe a cup of coffee, thanks. Steve Blue, a couple of cups of coffee. Get any sleep? Sure. We'll lie in here for a few hours. When you're feeling better, we'll decide what to do. What's to decide? We'll go back to Port-au-Prince. I'll try to find a way to get home. I've got to get back to work. You must have left you a little money. Enough to tide you over. No. Dad wasn't exactly what you'd call a good provider. I forgot. I can get home all right. This will certainly bring enough money for that. A man's legacy to his only child. Not much, is it? Could be more than you think. There's a very old legend that a tribe of Africans settled in Haiti who kept all of their primitive African voodoo customs. They were called the Tigri, I think. It means the untamed. And they acted the part. The untamed believed that unless they buried their dead with a symbol, their spirits would come back and haunt the tribe forever. And the burial symbol of the untamed was a golden skeleton. There's actual proof that this tribe existed. They killed and looted, finally disappeared. From that day to this, they haven't been seen or heard of. You mean a whole tribe just vanished in a body? That's right. Well, we better get back to Port-au-Prince. I'd like to make a deal with you. Deal? For that. I'll listen. What do you have in mind? Well, there's a young hunger named Isnard I'd like to talk to. He lives at Luli. His father was the wisest, most powerful voodoo man in Haiti. He probably told Isnard a lot of secrets before he died. What makes you think he'd tell you anything? I'd like to try. I'll split 50-50 with you. If anything comes of it. I haven't been raised to have much faith in treasure. Chief Luke. What's up, banker? We're heading for Luli. Luli? I'm going to Port-au-Prince. Okay, start swimming. Would you come here for a moment? I'm not in position to carry supercargo. And you can't pay your passage. So if you don't mind. Spring cleaning? Some people will sleep on anything, I guess. I warned you this wasn't a passenger vessel. I just want to make sure this mattress isn't carrying any passengers. Yeah, you're holding her nice and true now. It's fun. Lots of things are fun. If you let them be. For instance? Lots of things. We'll pretend that didn't happen. Why? It was fun.
Bill. Bill, you awake? How can I sleep with a broken jaw? Oh. I'm sorry I slapped you so hard. Forget it. Need something to tell our kids about. Yes, it will. We can tell them that... What did you say? Not a thing. Did you lock your door good and tight? You know there's no lock on this door. Oh, that's right. Good night. Good night. cut off from the outside. Say, you better get the idol. Christophe! I'll say you are. You're growing like a mapu tree. We'll have to have a contest between you and T. Flute. I win, I bet you. <laughs> Maybe. Please, tell me, just what did you do for these people? Well, there was an epidemic here several years ago. I brought some antitoxin. Nobody come here. Everybody died. Shut up, Christoph. My father said you are brave as one and hate. That's enough, Christoph. My father, I know everything. How is your father? He's very well. He's with for you now. Glad to be back here, is not. This is Miss Dexter and my cabin boy. Oh, excuse me. My first mate, T. Flew. I am Harvey. I've got to talk to you. First, eat, Captain. And to talk, it will be better. Go 
Now, mon ami, you talk what you want. No, it's not. I want you to do the talking. You steal. Then you steal from thief. This belongs to... The untamed? You know. I know a little. I know about this. But I haven't the slightest idea what to do with that. We are friends, Captain. You will believe me? Yes. Then forget about this. It is better for you. No. Do you know what it means? I know. Can you tell me? Captain, my people will do much. But I am Hunger, high priest. And this secret, it belongs to Tambala. Tambala? The snake god? Tambala, the god of air, land and water. The snake is only symbol. You do not believe, but do not laugh. I laugh at no man's god. Punai, we ask Tambala. Is away and the captain. So I let you sleep here tonight. With cornmeal ground at midnight under a full moon, Isnard traced the Vebar. The symbols of the snake god. The whole night long they sang the incantations. Words with long forgotten meanings that had been handed down from high priest to high priest since their tribal days in far off Africa. When the sun rose the next morning, it was time at last for the devil dance. The forbidden dance of the bewitcher and the bewitched. Good thought evil. And when one had conquered... Isnard would have his answer from Dambala. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
He's a nice boy, Christoph. Uh huh. I'm glad he's still alive. Sure. That was a brave thing you did. He's a nice boy, Christoph. And now? I think we're licked. Come on aboard, is Nard. How's Christoph? He's well. I owe you his life. It is a hard thing to say no to a friend who has saved your son's life. Everybody does what he has to. Yes, that's why I must tell you what you want to know. Isnard, I like Christoph. He's a fine boy. You don't owe me anything, and you have a vow to keep. Captain, you are an honest man. Tell me, will you still try to learn this secret? Yes. I will show you. You don't have to do this, Isnard. Yes, I have to do it. We must still know. Isnard told us how the untamed, in need of gold and jewels for their burial ceremonies, stole the treasure of Kristoff, the slave who made himself king of Haiti. The hungan of the untamed went secretly to Kristoff and brought with him the twin god of good and evil. We needed to find the missing part of the idol, so we sailed halfway around Haiti. Then by horseback, we reached what was once the most fabulous court in the history of the Western world, Sans Souci. It was little more than a hundred years since Christophe had tried to outshine the emperors of France. But now his palace was a deserted skeleton. Sans Souci died, said Isnard, as all things die that live for vanity and for gold. He told me that when the Hungan came here, Christoph was at war with the French. He could spare no soldiers to help regain the stolen jewels. Isnard explained how the two made their bargain. They broke the idol in half. Each keeping one of the gods is a symbol of faith. King Christoph hid his idol here. But before he could use it, he became paralyzed. He shot himself on the other side of this wall. Nobody knew where he hit the idol? Yes, the Hunga knew. But by then, he was whole and sick. This half of the idol, this one, have been stolen. What do thieves... This was a citadel. Last, I was seeing it with my own eyes. Pregnable fortress in the clouds. Once the eighth wonder of the world, to complete this one battlement, 30,000 slaves lost their lives.
no merit that the idol feed here. The island of the Anten lies between their heads. There's no island out there. It's, it's just mountains and clouds. The island is there. How far? The symbol of our answer. You use ten songs. Ten days travel? For the Unga of the Anten, ten days. But for you, who knows? Now that I knew the secret of the untamed, I was anxious to return to the boat and set sail. But it was getting dark, so we decided to stay at San Suisi overnight. My friend, I have done what you want. Thank you, Isnar. May I then ask you something? Anything. I ask that you forget this evil thing and go back home. Never take their gold. You're sure of that, huh? I believe in the power of Dambala. I feel guilty. I feel almost as if I'd killed him. That's wrong. You saved his son's life. He tried to repay you. It was an accident. Do you believe it was an accident? No. Bill, I think we ought to give it up. I'll take you back to Port-au-Prince. And you? I've got to go on with it. What's our course? Round the Cape. And we'll head due south, Port au Prince. What's our course? 153 degrees. Chief Lute. Get ready to up anchor. We're making good time, T. Blue. We will have the wind behind. Still no island. I'm ready to give up. Are you sure you stayed on course? All the way. Why don't we give it another day? I've got a hunch it's right over the horizon. You women and your intuitions.
under silent. It's nothing but rock. Solid rock. How about a bit of grog? Oh, I'm already my captain. You know me like a book, don't you? <laughs> Join me, Ann? No, thanks. I think I'll take a swim. Suit yourself. How about a song, T. Flute? We will come to dance. Get the apple lungs to take a look at it. That must be it. The entrance to that island through that cave. We're going in tomorrow. Me too? No, you stay. When the captain's away, the first mate is the captain. And the ship must always have a captain. Okay. Get the yellow wrapper ready. We'll pack what we need. Maybe you ought to stay here with T. Flute. And miss all the excitement? A native spear in your back might be a little too exciting. The untamed are as savage as they sound, then. Better let me go along. Not a chance. Okay.
into some clothes. We can hide our stuff in there till we find some place to make camp. How long does it take you to get dressed? A long time. I'm a woman, or didn't you notice? I noticed. What happened to all your savages and their spears? Never mind. We'll keep on looking after a good night's sleep. What do you like? One pillow or two? One will be fine. your pillow back. Untamed, honey. Pull
like they're enacting some sort of a trial. Thank <laughs> you. 
I found their burial place. It's a lake. It's just on the other side of the village. There must be thousands of these things. your aquila. Take as many of those skeletons as you can. I'm going after some more. I'm right behind you. Give us a chance. How? We'll try to make a break for it when the oxygen tank explodes.
Feeling better, honey? Oh, I'm all right. Bad luck, Bill. I guess I never really believed we'd get away with it. What'll we do now? I guess that's up to you. I'm tired of chasing rainbows. I've chased them all my life. That's strange. One of the things that Isnard taught me was... Wherever Dumbala goes, the rainbow goes with him. You mean maybe we will find it? Maybe we have found it. Keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. We will not be right. <laughs>